Today I'm flying a Citation Ultra, and I'd like to take a minute to show the Emer bus and all the items connected to the Emer bus and a Citation Ultra. Um, the main thing to remember about the Emer bus and a Citation Ultra, or an Encore, this would apply to also, is that it's much more um, left seat pilot centric, you might say. So. Uh, with the Citation 2 and the 5, the older Citation 500 series uh, aircraft, they intend for the right seat pilot to fly if the aircraft needs to be operated on the Emer bus. So the various uh, gauges and, and instruments and things that are needed uh, on the right side would be connected to the Emer bus. Whereas with the Ultra and the Encore, that shifts more to the left seat. So um we uh still have the i'll just step through the uh different items here we still have the uh, voltmeter connected to the emer bus so we uh can measure the battery voltage when we're running on emer power um we still have the floodlights in the same position down on the left side of the lighting panel and then we come over here and this is the uh, HSI, the standby instrument here that uh, receives power to the Emer bus or from the Emer bus, uh, we're going to make sure that, that is working when uh, we flip the Emer bus on. And then coming up here to the N1 tapes and digits. In the Ultra, this is all one um, uh, instrument up here that shows. N1 tapes and digits and ITT, and, and we won't get ITT tapes with the Emer bus, but we do get both N1 tapes and digits. Um, and then this particular aircraft has been upgraded to have uh, dual Garmin GTN 750s for the avionics. And um, on a standard Citation Ultra, you would have NAV1 and COM1, both the number one NAV and COM radios. Uh, so the way that uh, this aircraft is wired, we just have the top GTN 750, the number one GTN 750, is uh, what receives power. And in the Ultras, you also have the um, audio panels. So uh, the GTN 750 has replaced the audio panel, um, but uh, that's what we use here for our audio panel, and and in in a more conventional ultra you would get uh, power to the like the overhead speaker and um and then uh the uh last item here that i should talk about is the uh, standby pedo heat so we uh have the pedo switch there that will show a um, response out of the voltmeter when i turn the pedo heat on and that uh, pretty well covers the Emer bus items. Now let me show you when we turn the Emer bus on how we verify all of that. When I turn the Emer bus power on, we see that the battery voltage comes up to 24 volts. And let's take a look over here right away at the HSI. We see the various flags getting pulled and this is connected to NAV1. So because the um, Garmin GTN 750 is our NAV1, that's running through some checks. That's why we're going to uh, see different indications here. And we also need to make sure that that heading flag pulls from view. That indicates that the gyro has spun up sufficiently. That sometimes takes a minute. There we go, that's pulled. So that's passed the test. Now I'll come back over here and take a look at the floodlights. When I turn the floodlights all the way on, we should be able to look up here and we see the floodlights illuminated. Now I'm gonna bring it back down, turn those to zero because we don't want to burn those out when we're flying in the daytime. Next I'll come up here and look at the N1 tapes and digits. 
we see that those are receiving power. Looking at our GTN, we've got both COM1 and NAV1 functioning. And as an illustration of the overhead speaker receiving panel, or <laughs> receiving power, I'm going to turn that on. We see that that's working. And last but not least, I'll come over here to the pedostatic and take a look at the voltmeter when I flip this on and off. We see that goes down when I flip it on. We see that it comes back when I flip it off. Do that a couple times just to make sure I'm seeing it. It's a, it's a very subtle uh, um, twitch in the voltmeter there, but uh, that ensures that the standby pedo heat is connected. So that's kind of a difference compared to the Citation 2 is that the Ultra has standby pedo heat connected to the Emer bus. So we have a little bit of uh, protection in case we're in icing conditions or need to fly through icing conditions to get on the ground. And uh, that's something that the Citation 5 has, but not the Citation 2 when we're talking about the older 500 series citations. And those are all of the Emer bus checks in a Citation Ultra.